Hi there, welcome to chandu.org. In this short video, I'm going to talk about how you can combine a bunch of text values into one big text value very, very easily. This is a formula trick. Well, it's, it's a mixture of formula and Excel trick, really, that I picked up from uh, one of my readers, Grant, who shared it with all of us uh, in, in comments sometime uh, a few weeks ago. So let me just show you what this does. Let us say you have a bunch of text values like this, right? And you would like to concatenate all of this into one big value, okay? Of course, as you may have already discovered, Excel has a serious limitation with its concatenation function. If I want to combine two values, like the value in B2 and B3, you could write B2 ampersand B3, and that would give O combining, because that's the individual text values in B2 and B3. This is fine, but if I want to do it, for example, from B2 through B19, then you have very few options. You could just go ahead and do the ampersand B4, ampersand B5, ampersand B6 kind of thing, or you could use the concatenate function and uh, and then select one after another, right? Like this, you have to select all the all the 20 values or 19 values or 200 values or how many ever there are. And this is a really painful thing. You cannot select a range of values because concatenate would not work with ranges. If I if I just specify B2 to B19 in concatenate and then try to press enter, I'm, I'm just going to get one of the values, right? That's it. I'm not going to get the whole thing. So this is one of the limitations of concatenate. And uh, to overcome this, there is a very, very simple solution. That's what we're going to talk about now. The technique involves using concatenate along with another function called transpose. First, let me show it and then I will explain why this is working. All you would do is go to an empty cell and then start typing concatenate. And then inside concatenate, you type transpose. Okay, transpose. And then select the range. Okay, select the range of the cells that you want to concatenate. Close the brackets and close the brackets once again. Now, don't press enter yet because you're not going to get any result now. Once you have done all of this, select only the transpose function, including the range of cells that you want to concatenate. Once you have selected, you can press F9 key, okay? Or you can press Control equal to. I'm going to press Control equal to. And this is going to replace all the actual values with uh, all the cell references with their values. So now you get all of these things, right? At this stage, just remove the curly brackets and press it. There you go. That's it. Whether you, you have a big, big range or you have a short range of 20, 25 cells, you can use this. The only limitation probably is if you have a lot of cells, then the F9 key or control equal to is not going to work because uh, what we really did with F9 key or control equal to is we replaced a particular for formula with its value, whatever value the formula is calculating. So when you are doing this, Excel has a limitation of 1024 characters. If the formula evaluates to something more than that, then it's not going to show the result. But as long as you have like a bunch of cells of names of customers or customer IDs or product codes or vendor names or something like that, this will work very, very beautifully, right? So here we have the entire thing concatenated. You might be wondering, hey, how come you have spaces between the things? It, it reads like a sentence, right? Oh, combining a bunch of text into so one big text is so painful. Well, not anymore. Well, the thing is, what I have done with the original text is I have added a space at the end of each and every value. If your data does not contain a space and you would like to add a space or a comma or a semicolon or some other delimiter, you could do that also. I'm going to show you one more example here. Let us say uh, we come come to some place like this, and then I'm going to type A, B, C, D. And we want to concatenate all of these. So you can just say concatenate, transpose, then select this thing, okay? Ampersand, whatever delimiter we want. Let us say we want to have a comma between the values. So comma, and close the whole thing. And once that part is done, just select the transpose portion alone, and press Control equal to, then remove the curly brackets and press enter. There you go. You are 
x values are now concatenated with a custom delimiter it could be comma it could be space or it could be another bunch of big text anything will work right so this is how easy it is to concatenate values like this there are a couple more bonus tricks let me sh show them to you let's just say you have values across several columns in that case you don't even have to use transpose you could just say concatenate right and then select all these things okay close the bracket and now just select the range press F, press control equal to or f9 and there you go the entire thing is concatenated of course i have to put some delimiter there because this is yeah, there is no space after each and every word so let us try that with delimiter concatenate that range ampersand space okay and then do not press enter instead just select the range ampersand that and press control equal to and uh, remove the curly brackets press enter so now you have all of these values combined to produce one meaningful text right so this is how easy it is to use the concatenate along with the transpose now you might be wondering hey what is happening here how this really works so let me just explain quickly to you as you know what concatenate does it takes a bunch of values it combines them so there is no mystery nothing to explain what is transpose doing the functionality of transpose is it can take a values in a bunch a bunch of values in a in a in a column and then transpose them so that for a formula the values looks like the values look like they are across the several columns so what it really does doing is taking these values and in excel's mind in its excel's memory it is rearranging them so that the values appear like they are across the screen instead of going down then you might be thinking uh, this is just too crazy why would any formula require values to go across the screen well believe me there are many formulas where you might require such a functionality a good example is let us say you are doing some calculations involving uh, matrix multiplication remember matrices from your high school or elementary school matrix is a bunch of numbers and sometimes you want to transpose a matrix so that you could do something with it right i don't want to go into too much of mathematical theory but that was the real reason why a transpose function was introduced there are many other cool uses to which people put them so what transpose is doing is it is taking a values across the screen and uh, uh, values in a column and then it is putting them across the screen now you might be thinking that's all fine i understand what transpose is doing but why use transpose why can't i just put the values as they are so that is where we will come and experiment if i just use concatenate right if i just use concatenate instead of using concatenate transpose and then select the internal portion remember the values a b c d are in one column press control equal to you would notice that a semicolon b semicolon c semicolon d right this means the values a b c d are in one column so whenever a bunch of values are in one column the delimiter used by concat uh, excel to distinguish them is semicolon but if the values are in several columns right like this then the delimiter would naturally be comma this is the excel's own notation just i want to make one more note here which is whatever i am talking about the notation of semicolon or comma is very specific to us version or english versions of excel certain versions like uh, if you are using polish version or german version or french version or japanese version of excel you might have different keys there you might have something like uh, i don't know probably uh, a slash or or a colon or some other key there because of the specific uh, requirements that each and every key in that language has since majority of you would be using english version i'm just not going to talk about how to handle those cases so this is why you would get that but if you have transposed that is concatenate transpose a b c d right and then now select the transpose portion and ask it to evaluate 
Here you see that A, B, C, D. That means A is one column, B is one column, C is one column, D is one column. And it is using the comma. Because both concatenate and uh, concatenate also uses comma to separate various parameters. We are kind of really cheating Excel here by using transpose to make it look like the values that we wanted are they, this and the comma is added automatically. So this is a very nice workaround. Uh, I'm sure you can spend some more time and understand the nuances of this. But the main point that I wanted to highlight is this is how it works. I just want to throw one more caution here. The values combined by this formula are static. That means if any of the original values change, this thing is not going to change. For example, I had a smiley here. Instead of that, I just put a full stop. This thing is not going to change. It's, it's full stop here, but this formula, we have replaced all of them with values. So it's not going to change. So this is something that you want to keep in mind. Anytime the values change, you need to uh, rewrite this formula. But most times when you are combining like this, it's probably for a one-time use. So it doesn't matter much and it's going to save you a lot of time. So that is how you could concatenate with very easy, very easily. Once again, I'm going to uh, I thank Grant for sharing this tip with me and rest of our readers on onchentu.org recently. Thank you so much, Grant. And go ahead and play with this example. Uh, visit uh, chandu.org and uh, one of the latest posts is about this particular technique. So go ahead and play with that and uh, read through the comments and etc. so that you can learn a little more. Thank you so much for your time and attention. I hope you have enjoyed this video. See you again sometime soon. Bye-bye.